morning. Today I'm going to read a story about a pencil that can not only draw things, but actually make them come to life. This is the story of a magic pencil. After I read the story, think about what you would draw if you had a magic pencil and follow along with the art project. Bye. The Pencil by Alan Alberg. Once there was a pencil, a lonely little pencil and nothing else. It lay there, which was nowhere in particular, and for a very long time. Then one day, that little pencil made a move, slivered slightly, quivered somewhat, and began to draw. The pencil drew a boy. What's my name, said the boy. Uh, Banjo, said the pencil. Good, said Banjo. Can you draw me a dog? The pencil drew a dog. What's my name, barked the dog. Uh, Bruce, said the pencil. Excellent, said Bruce. Draw me a cat. The pencil hesitated. Please, said Bruce. So then the pencil drew a cat named Mildred, and Bruce, of course, chased Mildred. Round and round the house, which the pencil drew, they chased each other, up and down the road, which the pencil drew, in and out of the park, which the pencil drew. They ran around for a long, long time, getting hot and bothered, tired and grumpy, and finally they got hungry. Draw me an apple, said Banjo. Draw me a bone, said Bruce. Draw me a mouse, meowed Mildred. No, said the pencil, no mouse. All right then, cat food, meowed Mildred. Only then, we can't eat this, apple, yelled Banjo. Bone, barked Bruce. Cat food, meowed Mildred. It's black and white. The pencil hesitated, frowned, and thought for a while, then drew a paintbrush. What's my name? said the paintbrush. Uh, Kitty, said the pencil. Splendid, said Kitty. How can I help? After that, Kitty painted the apple and the bone and the cat food. She painted Banjo and Bruce, but not Mildred. Mildred was a black and white cat anyway. She painted the house and the road and the park. What's next, cried the now cheerful and excited pencil. Anything, yelled Kitty. She was so excited too. You draw and I'll color it. So they did. Banjo got a little sister named Elsie and a mom and a dad named Mr. and Mrs. Some grandmas and grandpas, three or four cousins, and an Uncle Charlie. Bruce got a friend, an Airedale named Polly, and a ball. What's my name? said the ball. Don't be silly said the pencil. The ball made a sad face. All right then, Sebastian, said the pencil. Then all of a sudden, trouble. Banjo kicked Sebastian, oh, into the air and broke a window. Polly ran off with Bruce's bone. What's my name, said the bone. One of Mildred's kittens, which she had just asked for, got stuck up in a tree and everybody was grumpy and starting to complain. My hat looks silly, said Mrs. My ears are too big, said Mr. I shouldn't be smoking a pipe, said Grandpa. Get rid of these ridiculous things, yelled Elsie. The pencil hesitated, frowned, 
looked worried for a while, quivered somewhat, and drew... an eraser. After that, the rubber, as you might expect, then the eraser, as you might expect, started to erase things, hats and ears and such. The pencil and the paintbrush drew and painted them again. Everybody was happy. Only then, more trouble. The rubber rubbed things out. He was excited too. He rubbed the table out, and the chair out, and the rug out, and the front door out. He even rubbed the whole house out. He rubbed the tree out, and the kitten, who was still up in it, out, and the other kittens out, and the cousins, and the grandmas, and Uncle Charlie, out, out, out. He rubbed the road out, and the park out. He rubbed the sky out. He rubbed everything, even Kitty the paintbrush, out. Now once more, there was only the pencil, the lonely little pencil, and nothing else. The eraser kept on coming. The pencil drew a wall to try to stop him. The eraser rubbed out the wall. He drew a cage to keep him in. The eraser rubbed it out. He drew a river with some mountains, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! The rubber rubbed them out. Then when all seemed lost and there was absolutely no escape, that brave and clever little pencil quivered somewhat, shivered slightly and drew... That brave and clever little pencil quivered somewhat, shivered slightly, and drew another, another eraser. And what did these two, and what did these two erasers do? Their names, Their names were, were Ronald, Ronald and Rodney, Rodney, by the way. By the yes, way. of course. Yes, exactly, course. you guessed yes, it. They tried to erase each other. Out. Each other. Out. After that, of course, of course. After that, of course, of course, the pencil drew Banjo and Bruce and Mildred and all the others again and Kitty. He drew her as well and colored them in. He put the sun back in the sky, the house back on the road, the kitten back up in the tree, the grass back in the park, and he made a picnic, a lovely brand new picnic out in the grass. The picnic lasted a long, long time. Banjo played football with Sebastian. Oh, and his little cousin Banjo's dad tried eating a boiled egg named Billy, but it ran away. The whole column of ants, what's our names, said the ants, came marching across the tablecloth. And his little cousins. Banjo's dad tried eating a boiled egg named Billy, but it ran off. A whole column of ants... What are our names, said the ants, came marching across the tablecloth. They are called Alice, Elfie, Abraham, Amy, Araminta, Alberic, Algernon, Anastasia, Ada, Ellen. Finally, the sun, Finally, went, the sun down. went down. The eating, the eating and the, the games and the, and the adventures came to a stop to a and, stop. Everybody, and everybody and everything and went home everything to bed. The pencil drew a moon in the sky and some darkening hills and Kitty, the paintbrush, painted them. He drew a snug little box with a cozy lining and Kitty painted that. She painted him too. Binding and Kitty painted that. She painted him too. The end. The end. Now it's time to draw our own magic pencil.
Now let's make a line come out from our pencil and start to draw some different things. I would like to create a kitty. Watch my line grow. And this time, I'm going to create a basketball. I'm not finished yet. A triple scoop of ice cream. Watch my line grow until it creates, can you guess what it is? A race car. Another animal I really like is the crested gecko. Whew, I'm getting tired. Just a couple more. A microphone so I can practice singing. Tra la la. Only a little bit of space left. A pinwheel toy for a windy day. Now it's your turn. Draw a magic pencil and see what you can create. 